y'all? This is your girl Leah, aka Pretty Girl Yaya, back with another video. This video will be my baby's 12th month update. Um, she turned a year old June 25th. You say hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, daddy. Yeah. Um, so starting on her birthday, she wasn't walking yet. She was like hold still holding on to things so she wasn't walking by herself she started walking maybe like a week or two later and that was without any support july that's when i officially took her pacifier and her um bottle that's when um i was at a family reunion and my grandma my, uh, I was at a family reunion and my grandmother saw that she still had her pacifier so she took it and kept it and baby girl been without it since and then um, I was over the bottle face anyway so for her birthday present I bought her a couple cups we bought her like different kinds of cups and everything so um, she can get started on that um, the transition wasn't bad the um, pacifier I think she was over it after the first night. Um, we had a like an hour car ride back from from the reunion, and she did without it the whole ride. Went to bed that night. She um, did wake up in the middle of the night. I guess she was looking for her nook, but she didn't have it. Um, and she just got used to not having it. I don't even think she even remembers what a nook is anymore. In her cup. Um, yeah, that was very easy. Well, no, I wouldn't even say very easy because the first couple times that I gave her a cup, I gave her like two different kinds of cups. She didn't want to take it at all. She would just throw it on the floor and she did want the bottle. But um, I threw the bottle away. If I don't have it, I can't give it to her. So she's going to have to learn how to drink out of a cup. Let me see if her cup's in here. I got her one of these cups um, with the little silicone middle. And it's like drinking out of a regular cup, except it doesn't spill. Um, this is very good on baby's teeth as well. It's the Duke brand. And um, my baby was little. She was born six pounds, three ounces. So for like two or three months straight, I want to say from like nine months to 12 months, she was 17 pounds. So she wasn't gaining any weight but um she was growing lengthwise i do believe it was her 12 month appointment when the doctor said you know feed her whatever i eat nothing is off limits so from then she's been eating chicken chicken nuggets fries strawberries oatmeal um she has a very large palate macaroni and cheese string beans asparagus we eat all of that stuff um so we did go to the doctor like a week or two ago. Right now she is 20 pounds, but it did take her a while to gain those three pounds because for a long time she was 17 pounds. She's been growing lengthwise though. I think she was like 25 or 26 inches um, our last appointment. Um, she is very vocal. When, um, when you speak, she'll look at your mouth and that's how um, I assume that she learns a lot of words and how to say a lot. She knows how to say hi. Can you say hi? Yeah. She knows how to say bye bye. Can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Can you say mama? No. Yeah. Mama. Yeah. Mommy. Can you say dada? Dada. Dada. Um. She knows how to take a deep breath. Yeah. Can you take a deep breath? Can you take a deep breath? Yeah. Look. Take a deep breath. <laughs> um, she knows how to say ah. Can you say ah? Uh, say ah. Uh, say ah. Uh, say ah. Uh, uh, She's not gonna do it right now. She knows how to say her name. Can you say Avali? Yeah. Avali. Uh, uh, um, she knows how to say stop. She knows how to say no. She knows how to say food. She knows how to say eat eat. She knows how to say night night. So she's very vocal. Um, especially yeah, since she has her yeah. brother who's always talking to her and yeah. playing with her and everything. Yeah. Can you say yay? Look, patty cake, patty cake, baker's man, roll it up, 
Roll it up. Put it in the pan. Yay! She's looking at me like I'm crazy. Um, she has hit a growth spurt. She had a really um, big appetite. So um, for snacks and stuff, I give her like applesauce. Um, I give her like crackers, peanut butter crackers. I did breastfeed. I did hear that if you um, eat peanuts while you're breastfeeding, that can help reduce um, a peanut allergy. And I introduced her to peanuts early so she won't develop a peanut allergy. Um, I would speak to your pediatrician before you do that. She does not like being held. She does not like being held. She is a mommy's girl. She loves being up under mommy. Yeah. Um, but she does not like being held. She'll want you to like put her down so she can walk around. Um, it's kind of hard. I haven't had any new um, hair videos with her because it is hard trying to keep her still while doing her hair. She does not like to be still. She likes to be entertained the entire time. And she gets bored easy when I find something that entertains her. Um, she was throwing tantrums at one time. Um, but I guess she's over that. I don't know why. I think it was her growth spurt as well. And she has these, um, she has another tooth coming in at the bottom. Um, speaking of her teeth, she had two teeth, two bottom teeth from eight months to 12 months. And after her birthday, all of her teeth started growing in. Now she has um, four teeth at the top and three at the bottom, but the fourth one is growing in. Patty cake, patty cake. We do count. I say our ABCs all day, every day. I count all the time um, just to get it repetitive. She does not watch a lot of TV. Um, when she does watch TV, um, it's usually something educational. Just because she does um, listen to a lot of um, things. So I want her picking up something that is beneficial. I do watch the music that I listen to around her. And I also um, watch what I say around her because I don't want my babies cussing. I don't want them singing the lyrics to Cardi B. So I leave that to mommy time. When it's mommy time, I listen to whatever I want to. But other than that, I try not to um, expose my kids to like that type of language and everything. We try to keep it PG and um, fundamental around here. Um, what's another update? Um, her hair is growing. She had like this bald spot um, in the back of her head for a while. I thought usually um, that happened if your baby sleeps on their head, on the um, on the back of their head a lot. But her as an infant, she rarely slept on her back. She usually slept on her stomach. Um, so I don't know what that was. You can get down. <clears throat> so I don't know what that was, but let me show you. As you can see, it's growing in. So I can like braid and twist um, the back of her hair now without it coming loose. Um, her hair in the back gets kind of dry. I still use um, baby products. I'll probably do an updated video, especially when I um, do like another hairstyle video. Um, I do have to do her hair at least every two or three days just so um, it'll stay moisturized. What I would do is do a style. I won't, I'll probably change the style once a week. But as for redoing her hair or touching it up, I'll do it every like two to three days. And I just get like a water bottle to wet her hair. And I have like a curling cream. Um, I think it's Cantu Kids, if I'm not mistaken. It might be Shea Moisture. I'm not sure, but I have like a um, like a cream for her hair and I'll put that in some water in her hair and I'll retwist it or rebraid it or whatever. Um, other than that, I don't I don't know if there are any other updates. She's speaking very well. She's growing very well. Um, nothing is really off limits when it comes to food. Um, she eats everything that I eat: macaroni and cheese, chicken, um, potatoes, potato salad, rolls, hot dogs. Um, 
whatever sometimes she doesn't like something she'll throw it on the floor that's another habit of hers so if she doesn't want to eat it she'll just throw it on the floor um but that's fine messy stuff i'll feed it myself i'll feed it to her myself like um oatmeal anything messy she likes cereal she'll snack on cereal she'll also snack on like popcorn yes she's a very happy baby she doesn't really fuss too much she wakes up at the crack of dawn it might be because um i have this window in my room and i have like this sheer curtain so the light comes in as soon as it comes up as soon as the sun comes up so that probably wakes her early in the morning um she has been sleeping in her crib um we share my room because i don't feel comfortable with her sharing a room with her brother right now so her crib is in my room um but she has been sleeping in her crib by herself since about eight months um early morning when she wakes up like in, in the middle of the, of the early morning when she wakes up like in the middle of the night i will um put her in a bed with me just so i can get some extra sleep because she likes to be comforted she likes to be up under me um but other than that, she doesn't really have a hard time sleeping. Around bedtime, she goes to bed at like 8 o'clock at night. Well, she'll probably wake up around like um, 7 in the morning. So she gets about 11 hours of sleep. <coughs> Excuse me. So she gets about um, 11 hours of sleep. And she probably won't wake up until maybe 5 or 6 o'clock. And that's when she'll get in the bed with me. Um... Is there anything else? She sleeps fine. Oh, when I put her in the bed, it's usually around eight o'clock. I'll probably turn on some Netflix or something for, for her, but she doesn't really cry or anything unless she really does not want to go to bed. That's the only time she'll cry. But typically, by the time I put her in the bed, it's when she's like rubbing her eyes and getting a little stuffy. Um, she'll probably have a bath with her lavender soap so that relaxes her a lot. And um, she'll just lay down. Typically, she'll just lay down. I don't really give her a cup or anything when I put her in the bed. I feel like that um, creates bad habits. Same thing with my son. I don't really give him anything to drink before bed. Well, with him going to bed because um, I feel like that's a bad habit. Um, I have introduced her to the pot um, like a few days ago. Me and her and my son, we just showed her the pot she has one of those cute little pots that has the little um thing so you can flush it so we flush the toilet we flush it with her i showed her the little compartments um the first time i set her on the pot because the pot is sitting beside the toilet so the first time um i set her on the pot i was using the bathroom as well and i just she had just used the bathroom so i took her diaper off of her and i set her on the pot and i used the toilet beside her and i showed her you know how mommy uses the bathroom the second time i set her on the pot she had woke up from lunch um i put the pot in the kitchen with not from lunch she woke up from a nap and I put the um, potty in the kitchen with me while I was cooking dinner and I just sat her on a pot the whole time I was cooking dinner um, I'm not really expecting her to do anything right now if she does that's cool if she doesn't that's cool too she just turned one but the goal is to get her familiar with it let her know what she's supposed to do on it um, so I'll let y'all know how the journey the journey goes because I heard babysitting babysitting I heard potty training a girl was a lot easier than potty, potty training a boy because I did the same thing with my son when he was one as soon as he started walking um, we started sit him on a pot but unfortunately he wasn't potty trained until he was three but I think I've learned with my son I feel like every child is different with my son I couldn't just sit him on a pot and expect him to use it he was kind of afraid of um, taking a poop in a pot he would pee in a pot but he was like afraid to poop in a pot or the toilet or whatever but with my son I threw away all the um, all the um, pull-ups no pull-ups I only put him in underwear um, if he made an accident I would have to wash um, his underwear or honestly sometimes I throw him away and just get some new underwear 
Um, but I kept him in underwear all day. First thing in the morning, um, go to the bathroom. After breakfast, go to the bathroom. Um, maybe like every 30 minutes to an hour, I would literally set the alarm on my phone. And like every hour, um, either I would ask him if he has to use the bathroom because he would say yes if he does and no if he doesn't. Mama, leave that alone. But um, yeah, so I would just ask him if he has to use the bathroom. He would go to the bathroom. Um, before bed, I don't really give him juice before bed. Um, when he's in bed, because he goes to bed, bedtime is like 8 o'clock. So once he's in the bed, um, what I do is like maybe every hour I would go in there until he falls asleep and I would take him to the bathroom every hour until he falls asleep because we don't want any accidents in the bed. Um, having to wash the sheets every night and everything is kind of inconvenient. Um, it kind of got dark. I'm sorry. It looks like the sun is going down. Um, but yeah, I think, um, that was my... So yeah, I think that was my um, 12 month update for her. Um, and I, have, I haven't been working. I've been staying at home these past few months. So we spend all the time in the world. I'm always at home with her. Um, we always cuddle. We always doing something to learn. Reading books and stuff like that. And she didn't got a hold to a water bottle and it's thick. And that is it for this 12 month update. Can we take a picture, Mama? Can you say cheese? Look, you see the phone? Can you say cheese? Let me fix your hair. Say cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese, Mama. Say cheese. Say cheese. Look right here. Look right there. Mm. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye, Mama. All right. Well, if she's not talking, she be funny acting. She don't. She don't like to talk until you already gone. But um, that's it for this update. If you would like to know more, if you need any advice about anything, if you have any questions Ooh. about being a mom, uh oh. <laughs> If you have any questions about being a mom, um, be sure to um, inbox me on Instagram. Um, you could leave a comment below and I always um, respond to my comments. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like mommy videos like this, um, just let me know. Show me some feedback or leave me some feedback. Um, I do plan on doing like a routine video, especially when my son um, starts school. So we will be doing that. And I think that's it. Um, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you all next one. Bye. Peace.